And now we have another award winner. He already knows that he will have this award, so he's probably very relaxed tonight. He's one of the greatest European filmmakers of our time, and I'm very honored that he is here. He got the Oscar, the Academy Award, and tonight he will have the European Innovative Storytelling Award. Steve McQueen, so good to see you. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you for joining us here. 12 Years a Slave, uh, Hunger, and a lot of amazing movies. But you have this award for a very special work. It's like a mini series. It's a small X. You can see it tonight if you want to see it in the internet, no problem. 13 euro, by the way. It's uh, very cheap to see this <laughs> amazing work, which is really unbelievable what you did there. Thank and you. it's not really like a red line, a narrative red line running through these five parts is more like an anthology about life in a very special community. Maybe you can describe a little bit what is the main topic of these five parts. Well, it's about the, the, the West Indian community, the black community in London during the time of, uh, we start from 1968 to um, 1984. So it's a kind of a, a journey through that particular period of time when people were sort of making roots and having a journey which was sometimes uh, rough, but um, eventually, you know, people sort of came banded together to sort of uh, make a community which sort of uh, is here today. And that's why I'm standing here today talking to you, because yeah. th that community made who I am today. <laughs> and as far as I know, it has something to do with your own family roots. Uh, maybe the stories of your parents? Mm, not origin? necessarily, but I mean, they, I mean, of course, they touch, it, it touches on that. But it's about the community as, as a whole and the mm. journey that we've been mm. through. And the fact that we are here, you know, you know surviving and, and striving, sort mm. of, uh, and I'm evidence of that, yeah. yeah sure. And um, all the stories are based on real events, except for one, I think this... Well, all of them are based on real events. I think yeah. the one that you say, which is all but one, is Lover's Rock, but yeah. um, it's actually based on my aunt. Ah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a Cinderella story, really, because my, oh, yeah. my aunt would... Uh, go to these uh, illegal blues parties and mm -hmm. uh, my, 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 my uncle will leave the back door open for her to, to go because my grandmother wouldn't let her go. <laughs> so this is now a reggae party, an illegal reggae party more? Yeah, we called it a blues party. What it was, was it was a party because, you know, black people were not welcome in clubs at that mm -hmm. time. Uh, if anything, maybe one or two were loud. That was it. Mm -hmm. People were not welcome. So people said, you know what, hell, the hell with it, we make yeah. our own. Yeah. So people used to clear out their front rooms and, uh, and, and, yeah. made, a, and made a disco in their front room, yeah. yeah. You have a wonderful camera operator, he's amazing. Yeah. And uh, you have a very special style to direct. I would really like to know how did you get these performances? Kind of um, performance like in the dancing scenes, for instance. It's like 50 minutes or whatever. People are yeah. really working, this ecstasy, there's passion in it. It's like a documentary. Yeah, that's Lover's Rock. Uh, um, the camera, camera is, uh, um, is uh, actually, he's Antiguan and German, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Shabe Kushner, yeah. um, and he's a beautiful guy, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a skater and a setter, so he's got an amazing sense of balance. Mm. What I wanted was a sort of, uh, 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 I wanted the camera to move like vapor mm. in the room, and it was about the whole idea of not noticing the camera, but mm. being involved in the, in, in the party, and I think what it is, to have a, 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 a moment in time which can actually break through and become something hypnotizing and mesmerizing. That's what I wanted. And we're very lucky. I think we, we, I think, I think we achieved that. Yeah, wonderful. And we can always see in all your movies, but especially here, that you are a visual artist, that uh, the images are very important, the angle of the camera, the, the view that we have. What is this kind of perspective on these people? Yeah. Well, I don't say think it's because I'm a visual artist, but um, I'm happy because I am one. <laughs> but I think there's a lot of directors who are interested in, in images and how they can transform do something more than words. That's mm. what I'm after. Because mm. there's something often which you can sort of uh, identify or, or, or detect, but cannot be necessarily uh, written down. And, and often you can see it, mm -hmm. uh, or you can alert to it through through a camera, through through motion. And that's what I am about. Because mm. I'm not a I, I'm I'm not sort of a, I'm not a comic book writer. I don't mm -hmm. sort of do storyboards. I mean, it's yeah. about finding it, and I, it, it's here. It's you know, it's yeah. you can you yeah. can discover it, whatever it is you're after. Thank you.